So I distinctly remember meeting this gentleman about four years ago. We were at a gold show. We had our booth set up selling gold nuggets because that's what we do. But about three booths over and across the hall was a very peculiar booth that was being set up by a single gentleman. So 10 a.m. the doors swing open and hundreds of people fill the floor of this convention center. But truthfully, most of these people passed this particular booth by. They didn't even give it a second look. But there was always a small group of people at this booth talking to this gentleman. And you could tell them apart. You could pick them out of the crowd. They were the guys with the longer beards or some dirt underneath their fingernails. The guys that weren't interested in all the hocus pocus that the show had to offer. These were the real prospector types. The guys that looked like they'd just come in off the river or off their claim. They wanted to meet with Tom and spend time with Tom at his booth because they knew that Tom was one of the most seasoned prospectors in the entire Pacific Northwest. They knew this was the guy that spent his entire life looking for gold. This is the guy that spent time with the old timers working in gold mines and had all the stories from the last hundred years. This is the guy that literally wrote the book on prospecting for the Pacific Northwest. They knew the longer they spent with this man, talking to him and hearing his stories, absorbing the information, the better chance they had at finding gold themselves. He's like a, he's like an oracle of gold prospecting. There's many gold districts in Alaska, the 40 mile district that are 10 times the size of the gold bearing district in South Dakota. It's a huge area. It's, it's thousands of square miles, actually. And you'd never be able to cover that in a lifetime. today and Tom with all of his knowledge and experience me with the camera and this YouTube channel seemed like a perfect combination to do some collaboration videos and start telling some of these stories these really wonderful great stories about gold up here in the Pacific Northwest and go try and find some more new gold of our own And we thought the perfect spot to start this collaboration today was at the Prospector's Treasure Trove. This is a brand new store that's just opening in Beaverton, which is a suburb of the Portland area. tell you how rare it is to see a prospecting storefront open anywhere in the country in this day and age with Amazon and online shopping. So Tom is there doing a book signing and a lecture and he invited me and my team to come up, say hi to Dan and his new store. It's refreshing to walk in a store like Dan's and to see rows of prospecting equipment and all kinds of different things that you might need when you're out there prospecting gold. Even on the inside of the legs, right. he deburs all of that stuff. And so you really don't see the quality until you really start really looking at well, it. Well, and that's something I wouldn't have noticed unless you're standing here talking. Yeah. I mean, but that's, and I was just saying that to my dad, but basically, you don't get this on Amazon. This is the, the, you're hanging out with the owner. You get to feel stuff. You get to learn about it. You get to touch it. You get to use it. He's got a whole back room dedicated to teach you how to use this stuff. That's why you come here and you don't order online. That's why I'm here today. It's not just to meet Tom, but it's to throw the support to guys like Dan who are, who are putting this all out here. It's just like a big, big play box. You can come play in all day and go find the candy, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
So getting to spend time with Tom, it instantly became clear why all those prospectors would hang out for hours on end at those gold shows. I felt like I was becoming a better prospector instantly, just listening to Tom talk and absorbing it all, taking it all in as a sponge. I thought I should be writing it all down, but then remember I had a camera recording all of it, so I had it documented as well as I could. Tom has a very easygoing style and eagerness to teach, and he just wants to share this information on the business of finding gold. I think the best part of the day for me or what I found most interesting was watching the dynamic come together. There's this very rare store, this prospecting playground that Dan has put together. And then having Tom there, who's one of the leading experts in mining and gold prospecting. And it culminated into this event late in the afternoon when someone brought in a golden quartz rock that they had found on their mining claim. Now the rock was pinged with a metal detector so there was a good chance there's gold in there and they asked Tom what was the best way to find out if there was gold in this quartz. And that's where you really got to watch all this come together. See the store became a working classroom. And it was fun to watch this culmination. Tom took a rock hammer off the shelf, the price tag still dangling off the side of it in a mortar pestle and took a sample of this quartz from this rock. And then to take it into the back room where there's troughs set up for prospecting for just something like this to see if there's gold in there. And we got to experience this, this very unique learning experience. If I was panning down a plaster sample, I would do it much faster than this. But um, what usually works out best, you don't have to pan that far down to get the tail. The tail is the heavy stuff at the head of your Pacific Gravity rendering here in the pan. The, the trick is, is to really tap it. This kind of panning, we're looking for a very fine amount. And you can see the pan is, is not a broken pan and it's not, it's not tailing very well. Uh, the water's kind of beating up. Thankfully, all this history, all this knowledge, all this experience is not lost. Besides the vlog videos that Tom and I are going to do, uh, Tom's written a series of books over his lifetime. And it's not just books about prospecting in the Pacific Northwest. It's technical guides, as well as treasure maps, as well as stories, as well as history. These are really unique books. And I think they would be just as beneficial to a new prospector as they would a very seasoned prospector. So I like these books so much that I asked Tom if I could sell them on our website, goldnuggetsales.com. So we'll have those available for sale and I'll put a link down below in the description. So there's still so much to tell with this story. We're really just scratching the surface. Tom and I have agreed that these stories need to be told. So I have a feeling you're gonna be seeing Tom quite a bit more in upcoming episodes of the Gold Vlog. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned, much more to come. And as always, we appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next video.